Good morning, Mr. President, board members, thank you, Gail. I'm Robert Gordon, a senior vice president with Gail and Earl Atkin Associates. Um, and this matter before you presents the opportunity to refund your 2008 bonds. <coughs> our recommendation, and I usually say my recommendation the last is, but our recommendation is to delay approval of this transaction so we have further clarity with respect to the petition for the right of mandate um, against the newly adopted rates. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the, the board staff uh, went through a lot of work last summer and during the fall to uh, adopt a new rate structure, and that's been challenged. So the challenge uh, casts a pall over the district's financial health. We're going to roll back rates to prior levels. Um, projections show that you may not be able to meet your covenants and your bond issue currently. Um, you may not be able to make debt service payments. You may not be able to proceed with your PAYGO capital plan. So at this time, without having more clarity with respect to how the decision is going to be made, and there is a hearing in June with respect to the petition, um, we would recommend that you hold off approving this until we have more clarity. Um, the market does not like uncertainty, and obviously the petition puts a lot of uncertainty with respect to your financial position. Um, we, we'd rather wait until we can have more clarity with respect to the court's decision in June so that we can present a full, complete story, both to investors and the credit rating agencies, to preserve your current rating. Your current rating is extremely high at AA+. It's the second highest rating there is. Only AAA rating is higher. So we want to preserve that so we can, uh, when we come to market with your bonds, with your refunding bonds, you have the opportunity to seize the greatest interest expense, savings, possible to you. The uncertain, where you move forward and with the uncertainty and the lack of a complete package to the market, we're concerned that investors may take advantage of you, that your bonds may not trade at, at a double A plus rating, or S&P to maintain your double A plus rating or affirm your double A plus rating. There is the potential that they would downgrade you. We don't know to what level they would downgrade you at, but looking at some of the stress tests provided by staff with respect to uh, your forecast of, res of financial results in the future, we would expect you to be downgraded. We don't know how far down the ladder you would go, but that would certainly put the opportunity to save 300000 or so a year uh, really in jeopardy. So. I tried to take something that was very difficult to make it simple for you today, but if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them directly. Um, again, my recommendation is to all this in vain and still have more information. Questions in the board for No question, just said. Yeah. By waiting, how much are we, how much can we be losing by waiting? That, and that's, that's a very good question. There is obviously by delaying you're accepting interest rate risk because the market could move away from you. Um, it's very difficult to, to estimate when the market's been very volatile. But over a period, if you look at the market where it's been over a fairly long period of time, it's trended down. Interest rates are close to very, you know, close to historical norms. We don't know how long that will last, obviously. But that risk you're going to have anyway. Uh, this is a refunding opportunity. It's not as if it were a critical financing to repair a critical component of your water system. You know, we, we view it as a market opportunity, something that's discretionary. Again, you know, we'd like to see you garner the most savings you possibly could. Uh, it is very difficult to project what you potentially could lose by waiting. I will say this, the call date is not until 2018. So you have a, a window of almost two and a half years or two years or so for the market to bounce back, uh, so to speak, or move or to move against you. Um, the other factor with the advance or funding is as you get closer to the call date, savings tends to, to increase because you're uh, not putting as much money away in an escrow to retire your 2008 bonds. So in theory, 
if we're right to remain about the same, the closer you get to the call date, the more savings you could potentially have. Again, very interest rate sensitive at this point. Um, I can't really predict how much you could possibly uh, lose. You could possibly lose nothing. The market may move the other way and make it better. So there's no way to tell, unfortunately. Even in good times or very stable times, it's hard, it's hard to predict where interest rates are going to be tomorrow, that long, in two months. That, but that's something you can't control in the market. Taking the opportunity to delay the financing, understand what the, the results of the petition will be, being able to present the full story. Right now, we'd be speculating on what the outcome would be. Being able to have more clarity, more understanding of what the petition, what the court will decide, gives you the opportunity to control that risk. You present, we present the full credit at that time with the full story to the stand of course to the investment community. It, it gives you an opportunity to control that risk. Thank you.